G'day guys and welcome back to the Dosso's Demons career mode season. It is Dosso's Demons taking on Saints TV FC. The lads have travelled three hours up to play at Moorabbin. Uh, there was a bit of a delay in the traffic, a bit of a crash on the highway, so the boys were sitting in the traffic for three hours to get all the way to Moorabbin, but that won't stop the action for this afternoon. The Dosso's Demons remain unchanged after their clash against the ultimate Rezies. Dil Danoon, though, the senior coach, is out with illness, so Mitch Bowl will step up to the plate to be senior coach today. The path to the title is a little bit more easier for Dosso's Demons. They've banked one win already, so they only need to win four of the next five games to clinch the title. Super important game, massive contest here at Moorabbin. Let's head down to ground level to see how everyone is feeling. Uh, just starting to warm up now, finally got through the traffic. Let's see how the boys are feeling before the game fires up. Have a look at the facilities. It's unbelievable that um, the biggest fish they could get is Zane Cordy having a look around <laughs> here because it's absolutely sparkling. The deck's fantastic. Bit better than, uh, where were we? Queen's. Geelong, Geelong Amateurs, Queen's Park. Yeah, a bit better than the Geelong Amateurs. We've been priming ourselves for about two weeks for this. I've put a lot of talk on the internet, as you know, <laughs> mate. A bit of talk. So I'm a bit nervous that uh, it's not going to come, but we've got Dino, he's our, he's our mastermind coach, he's Marsh's brother. He's running a bit late, so we don't actually know the game plan just yet, so we're just trying to look busy, trying to give you guys something to worry about on our side. A three hour drive, we got stuck in traffic, how are you feeling? <sighs> tight. It was tight a little? Tight back, sitting down for three hours. <laughs> what was the tactic uh, while stuck in the traffic, just to get through it? Just on the phone to you, really. <laughs> are we expecting another couple of snags today? Yeah, hopefully kick a bit straighter today, but... It's pretty blowy, so we'll see how we go. Bowl, noon is out, so now you're in the senior coaching position. How are we feeling for today? Not too bad. I liked what I saw from the first game. Um, without my right-hand man, Dil Danoon, I've had to take over the reins, so hopefully I'll be channeling a bit of Danoon's uh, inspiration before the game to get the boys up and about. Serious time here. This is the end of the year, and we've got the jumpers on, and we've got something to play for because we're all re wearing the red, white, and black, and we want to get a win today, boys, because you know what? We, they deserve it. They deserve to lose, and we owe it to them. We hate these guys. Hate these pricks. We want to exactly. want to send them over. Nothing too strong. We don't want to get the whistle blown against us, but we want to send a message early and really establish ourselves as the best football podcast team mm -hmm. in the nation. So let's do this, boys. Let's stick it up them. Right on, boys. Game two of the season, right? We've had to travel away. We got the home deck last time. Long trek down the highway. Doesn't matter. All right. Don't worry about the long trek. Don't worry about how long it took to get here. Worry about taking it out on the opposition. All right. Trez, big day today, mate. I know. Oh, it's 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 a spiritual home for you. It's almost leaving the way again. Roggy, the pressure. I really liked the pressure last game. All right. Well done, Rog. Up as well. Kicked a couple of goals. I liked it. I liked it. Bring that today. Dutchy, stay tall. Just stay tall. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill, you know what to do, mate. <laughs> Go, what go, really go, go. inspired me about the last game was that first 10 minutes. Like we really got the squeeze on them in that first 10 minutes and that's going to be really important today. Given the weather, given the conditions, we're prepared, we're ready. Let's be ruthless, so let's get the job done. Hey, how about those coaches just revving us all up? Some inspiring speeches there. The Saints TV FC lads are really setting the tone here. Out comes the Dosso's Demons now. Uh, it's an unchanged lineup from the team who beat the ultimate resis a couple of months ago, Liam Van Gemst, Ethan Baker, Connor Rogers, Matt Tresize, the goal-kicking machine. Billy Auger, who was injured halfway through the last game, has recovered quite well. And then Cade McDonald leading them out. And here comes the Saints TV FC lads. They are sniffing an upset. They feel like they are a real chance to pinch one here today. Uh, Jaden Cameron, Matt Marsh, Jake Batoni, the skipper. Dylan Howick, Ollie Platt and George Dixon is the Saints TV FC lineup. Uh, they are a player short though because uh, Joycey was injured. I think he's hurt his arm or something in some sort of accident. So Joycey isn't playing today, unfortunately. But the boys uh, are looking pretty well full strength other than that. So here we go. Is Dosso's Demons taking on Saints TV FC. I'm going to throw it over to your lead commentator, the Bev Show. Bev, over to you, mate. Thanks, Kados. Hello, everyone. Welcome to RSEA Park, Moorabbin. Of course, the home of the St Kilda Football Club. Currently plays host to AFLW matches. And today, it plays host to a massive game between Saints Fan TV FC 
and Dosso's Demons. So we're ready to go. Sit back, relax, enjoy. This is set to be a good contest. We're underway. And it's Saints TV with the first clear. It's George Dixon unloads. Tries to go all the way but misses. Gee, that would have been a big start for Saints TV. But not to be. It's a windy day, but it's a warm day. The temperature currently sitting at 27 degrees as Orga has the footy for Dosso's Demons. He sends it outside 50 towards Baker. It's a loose footy. Baker gives up in the end. But Tony collects and the umpire is going to let things roll given it's outside the field of play. Here's Dixon. What does he do here? He sends it deep. Now Cameron's there and Cameron marks. He was well underneath it. And he takes the mark on the chest. Now he's going to be kicking from a tough angle. But if he's good enough, this would be a big start for Saints TV. Let's have a look. Cameron snaps. Brilliant. Saints TV have the first major. Well, they like their chances today. And it's very important that they get off to a good start. And they've done just that. So back to live play we go. Dosso's Demons, they're on the back foot early. Baker has the footy outside the arc. He kicks it deep, but it's going to go out of play. Coaches, by the way, you can see Dino in the background there with the glasses. He's the coach of Saints TV. While Mitch Bowl and Michael Trasice, the joint coaches for Dosso's Demons in the absence of Dil Doonan who's out with illness. We wish him all the best. A number of players coming into this game off the back of illnesses. Van Gemst, Tresice, Orga McDonald. But they're all out there playing. So, a rush behind there for Dosso's Demons. They trail Saints TV by a goal. Dixon taps it on the ground. Points deep, taps it on the ground again. What does he do? He's going to handball it outside the arc to Hewick. He goes back inside 50 with a kick, but turns it over to the opposition captain. It's Katie McDonald with the footy now. Sends it outside the arc to Baker with the headband. He goes back in with the kick. Ball bounces past Tresice. It's a loose footy. There to be won by Cameron, who collects. Shrugs off uh, Tresice there. Now kicks it towards Marsh. But Baker collects, taken high, falls on the ground, gets back up, kicks it towards the goals. Don't tell me he's kicked it. He has. Well, he might have been taken high. Not sure if the umpire paid the free kick or not. It doesn't matter, though, because Baker got back up. And that is a good kick. Dosso's Demons, they kicked their first of the game. As Saints TV bring it back into play from the kick out. Now, did... Was that kept in play? No. It's going to be... Okay, it's going to be out of bounds on the full. I thought it might have just been in the field of play before going out. But it's Kata McDonald with the free here. He squares it up, but that's a disappointing kick. Only goes as far as the opposition, opposition captain in Batoni. Now, he's pointing outside the arc. He kicks it towards... Dixon, who falls to ground, tried to mark it in the process of all of that, but unsuccessful. Here's Baker, kicking it towards McDonald, who picks it up. He had Rogers there for support, but McDonald gets a dinky old kick towards Batoni. Now he's tackled by Baker. Umpire blows the whistle and says, holding the ball, you're gone. So Baker... Kicks it off towards Rogers. Now he's got time to compose himself here and delivers. Dosso's Demons in front. Good stuff there by Connor Rogers. Marsh with the kick out. That's not good. Turns it over to Baker. Baker squares it up. Good kick, Tresice. Takes the mark. So if he kicks this, it will be the fourth goal of the match. 
The third goal for Dosso's Demons, if he's good enough here. So let's have a look. Matthew Trasice lining up. Kick has got the distance, but not the accuracy. Dosso's Demons, it took them a while to get to the ground today. A three-hour trip due to a crash on the highway from Geelong to Melbourne. We're thankful they got here. Here's Dixon trying to run past everyone. Auger holds him up, but he handballs it off to Marsh. What's happened here? The umpire's paid holding the ball. Not sure that was a proper tackle. But it's the umpire who calls it. Play goes on. Auger to Rogers. Looks one way, decides to go another. And it was the right one. Short kick was good to Tresice, who marks. He had a shot moments ago. He missed. He's got a chance to redeem himself here. Kicking from a tougher angle. But he's nailed it. Good kick by Matthew Tresice and Dosso's Demons after conceding the first goal of the game. They've kicked the next three. Back we go. Batoni finds Dixon in the end. Baker did get in the way, but Batoni come away with it. The don't argue on Rogers was simply sublime. Cameron handballs it back towards Dixon. Who unloads and misses. But let's take a look at that don't argue again on Rogers. It basically put him on the turf. Sublime stuff. Here's McDonald. Working it outside the arc to Rogers, who pumps it back in there towards... Oh, what was that from McDonald? I'm not even sure how to describe that. Unusual stuff there by Katie McDonald. Van Gemps to Auger to McDonald. He drops it, and then he gets tackled. But let's have a look again. What was that from McDonald? He tried to get a toe on it instead of grabbing it. I reckon the coach has something to say. McDonald Let's going, have look, glory shot with that left foot out of mid-air instead of just taking it in the hands. I wonder where his head is after that. Yeah, he's been a bit fumbly in this game so far, the captain of Dosso's Demons. you got to wonder whether the illness that he's recently had is having some sort of effect. Anyway, Cameron to Marsh, who can have a shot here for goal. Saints TV currently trailing. So Marsh lines up. Oh, I think it's come off the side of the boot. What was that? Terrible kick. And after all that, the ball bounces out of play. So the umpire's going to have to throw it up. Auger received it from Platt. And now Dosso's Demons work it outside the arc. McDonald sends it back in. Didn't find anyone. Loose footy. Here's Marsh. In trouble but got rid of it. Only as far as Rogers, who made him pay. Good snap. Dosso's Demons have their fourth. And they lead by three goals. Good snap there by Connor Rogers. That's his second. Jaden Cameron with the footy for Saints TV. Kicks it deep outside the arc to George Dixon, who's had a lot of the footy. Sends it deep. It's gone through. It's a goal, but it's not going to count. You have to pass it before goaling. I reckon the graphics man has gone too early there. I reckon those people in the truck need to get a grip. No goal. Not going to be counted essentially it's out of bounds on the full as the ball goes out of play so just a reminder clearance is the 50 meter line you can't be tackled once you gain clearance past the 50 and you have to do at least one pass we're going to get another stoppage here right pocket here at RS EA Park, 
Now McDonald's trying to gather the footy. Couldn't quite pick it up. What's the umpire done here? He's paid out of bounds. Dixon. Good ruck work. Comes away with the footy. Oh my goodness. He shrugged off Baker and then he goals. Clearly he's been the best man out there for Saints TV so far. And what a goal this was. Baker just couldn't quite drag him down. And George Dixon. Nice stuff. So Baker with the footy now. Kicks it towards Rogers, who marks, and then finds himself outside the arc. Kicks it back in. Good kick, Van Gemst with the footy. The big boy. Kick on its way. It's a miss. So, so far, it's Dosso's Demons backing up their brilliant 40-plus point performance against the Ultimate Resis in their last game. They're doing a nice job, but things are still tight, though. 27 plays 14. But Tony to Marsh. Close to the goal square. Now he wants to handball it over the top and he does to Batoni. Who clears it outside the arc to Dixon. Oh, Tresice put him under pressure. And Tresice got, has got the footy. Works a deep good kick to McDonald who marks. Now it's fair to say he hasn't been himself in this half but he can make amends here with a goal. Snaps and delivers. Fifth goal for Dosso's Demons. Katie McDonald's got his first. 5-3-33. To 2-2-14 on the verge of half time. Marsh. Handballs it over the top to Hewick. Kicks it towards a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Dixon up against Van Gemst. Dixon comes away with it. Basically snatched it off in the end. And then kicks it towards Batoni. But he wasn't looking at the foot. It was Baker who got it in the end. Works a kick to Rogers, And then he kicks it deep towards Tresias. It slips through his hands and goes out of play. So with two minutes to go in this opening half. We're going to get a ball up. Ball thrown up. Tresais might have beat Platt there in the ruck. Baker now with the footy. Shrugs off Marsh. That was brilliantly done. Now he kicks it towards Rogers, Who collects. Might go all the way here. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. I've gone the early crow. It's a miss. Tell you what though. How could you not get excited? When Connor Rogers gets the footy. He's already got a couple. So Jaden Cameron, he's got a goal to his name too. Kicks it long. But Auger takes the mark, so it's a turnover here. Dosso's Demons back in possession. Good kick to Tresice. So 20 point margin. I don't think Saints TV would want to concede any more goals before half time. Matthew Tresice lining up. It's been a windy day so far here at Moorabbin. Kick on its way. I tell you what, look at the spin on that ball. But he misses. So that might just about do us in this first half. The clock at 15 seconds unless Saints TV can do something quick.
Marsh with the footy, but I think that's going to be it. There's the whistle. So it's been a good display so far by Dosso's Demons. They'll lead at the break. 2 4 16 to 5 5 35. Dixon has definitely been best on for Saints TV in that first half. Nine disposals for him, but the major ball winner is Ethan Baker with 10 disposals. The goal kickers, Rogers with two singles to Josias McDonald Baker. Dixon Cameron, the goal kickers for Saints TV. So it's Dosso's Demons at half time. Stay tuned. Second half coming up. So I think we didn't settle early. I think they put us on, put it on us for the first couple of minutes. They got a couple of shots on them, and then we sort of settled in to the game nicely. And I thought the boys, yeah, dug deep in that first half. So one half to go. Boys, hopefully, are still fit enough to run it out. What to work on this next half? I think just keep hitting our short, sharp kicks. Goal kicking needs a bit more practice, but we'll get there. Good start. Good start. The intensity was there. I really liked it. Right, Roggie. He played a ripping half so far. What I want from him in the second half, number 44, arm across. So I want that when they're having those kick outs, just mind him, just mind him. Just a bit hard to out the game. Oh, 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 really, really mind him. And then when we, when we get it, bang, going the other out way. Out the game. Oh, 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 so there you have it. The Dossos Demons have a plan for George Dixon in the second half. He has started the game on absolute fire. We want to thank First Ever Customs. That is where we got our design kit from. You can create your own custom made footy kit at firsteverCustoms.com.au. A link to that website will be in the description down below. Now we have some Dosso's Demons merch. Uh, if you want to get your hands on a tee or a jumper, there is a link down below as well. That is all thanks to our great mates at the Carlton Draft. And we want to thank the St Kilda Footy Club for giving us a chop out today as well and allowing us to have a bit of a kick and a cuddle on RSEA Park. Big second half coming up. It's a pretty good start here by the Dossos Demons. Can they continue their form in the second half? Let's get back to the commentator, the man, the myth, the Bev Show. Back to you, Bev. Rightio, let's get the second half underway here at RSEA Park, Moorabbin. It's Dossos Demons leading by 19 points. Here we go. Saints TV with the clearance. It's a big kick to the goal square. Orga runs onto it nicely for Dosso's Demons. And he handballs it over the top to Tresize, who runs it through for a rush behind. So the first point of this second half going the way of Saints TV. That's a big kick to Baker, who handballs it outside the arc to Van Gemst. Kicks it back towards Baker, one-on-one -on -one with Batoni. That was a good mark. Had his hands all over that one. And now he kicks it sideways to Auger, who then kicks it into the hands of Tresice. They're a well-drilled outfit, Dosso's Demons. And Tresice has an opportunity to kick the first major of this second half. This would be a second if he's able to slot it. In he comes. Kick on its way. It's there. Matthew Tresize has two. Dosso's Demons draw first blood in this second half. Back live now. Marsh a big kick towards Howick. He marks and then sends it outside the arc to Batoni. Back in he goes. Good kick. Found Platt all alone. He's been in the ruck. Up against Van Gemst today. You feel like Saints TV need a goal here. And that kick is not even going to make the distance in the end. Here's McDonald. Taking a bounce. Another bounce. Running it very easily. Outside the 50. Turns around. Kicks, tries to kick it towards Tresize. The kick didn't carry. Rogers is hunting for the footy. Now McDonald. Handball was blocked. They all go in hard. Ball is there to be won. Dixon picks it up, tries to shrug off McDonald, ended up handballing it. He tried to handball it to Platt, didn't get there. Now Dixon again trying to mop up the mess, and they get out of trouble. Saints TV, but Tony now, outside the 50, kicks it deep towards Cameron. He should have marked, not quite. Good stuff there by Van Gemst. Just rushed it over. 
Eliminated all danger. And now Dosso's demons will get back possession here. So 2 6 18, Saints TV. Trail Dosso's demons, 6 5 41. Here's Baker outside the arc. Towards Van Gemst. Hasn't kicked a goal today. This for his first. Big kick! Massive kick! Another one for Dosso's Demons. They're blowing Saints TV apart early in this second half. We need to see an urgent response from Saints TV and it needs to come ASAP. Platt's kick was smothered by Van Gemst. McDonald tried to get it. Dixon comes in hard. What about that tone argue? That was simply superb. Takes a bounce, runs it outside the arc, then turns around, kicks it towards Cameron. The ball didn't carry. Here's Auger. Nice don't argue on Cameron. Handballs it to McDonald. And now Baker's got the footy outside the arc. He takes a couple of bounces. Wanders inside 50. Kicks it deep. Can precise mark? Yes, he can. Too tall. Too strong. For Matt Marsh. And this for his third. Should kick this. He's going to go the check side. Banana. Good kick. So here's Marsh to take the kick out for Saints TV. They desperately need a goal. He goes the barrel if you don't mind. Not the best barrel I've seen. Oh, but Tony got rid of Baker. And now he finds himself outside 50. Finds a target. Inside 50. It's Platt. And then he tries to go to Howick, I think, but... The kick is well wide. Out of bounds on the full. Good work there by Batoni. So here's Dresais. Nice kick to McDonald. Runs it outside the arc. Good kick. Rogers. Handballs it off straight away to Baker. And then his kick intended for Auger. Misses him in the end. So all the coach of all the coaches of Dosso's Demons are very happy with what they're seeing right now. Here's McDonald. Oh, sold a bit of candy there. And then the kick takes a bounce and goes out of play. So umpire will throw it up. Good crowd there behind the goals. Enjoying a good display here by Dosso's Demons as Baker tries to dribble one through from an impossible angle. As Howick takes the kick out this time for Saints TV. He points deep. Good kick to Platt. Handballs it off to Marsh. And then he kicks it to Batoni. Outside the arc. Batoni deep towards Cameron. Oh, Van Gimst. Well done. That was a big mark. Have a look at that replay. Enjoy it, folks. Fantastic stuff from the big man. Here's Rogers. Towards a pack. Baker had it lost. It slips out to Cameron. Dinky old kick to Batoni as McDonald lost his feet there. And that allows Batoni to run away easily outside the arc. Now he spots Cameron. And he'll go back and he needs to kick this. If Saints TV are any chance of getting back into this game, he must kick it. He's already kicked one. He kicked the first goal of the game. It was a snap kick to get Saints TV off to a good start. Kick's got the carry, but not the accuracy. It's a minor score. 
Just the three behinds kicked by Saints TV so far in this half. Here's Tresice. Kicks it towards Baker. And that's a good kick and a good mark by Baker. He's going to be kicking from a tight angle. Looks like he's going to go... The snap! Oh, he's got it! Wonderful work! Brilliant! Two goals for Baker. He's had an outstanding game today. Look at the spin on that ball. Gotta love that. Now Dixon's gonna barrel it. And he finds Batoni outside the 50. They've kicked four goals so far in this half, Dosso's Demons. And they're under pressure here. Marsh met with the pressure of Rogers. He comes away with it. Now Baker, who kicks it out of bounds on the full. I'm sure those people behind the goals are blown away with what they've seen in this second half by the Dossos Demons. They have been fantastic as the clock ticks towards six and a half to go. But Tony was one-on-one -on -one with Rogers in the end and the ball spills out of play. Ball in coming up. By the way, if, you've, if you're not aware, Mitch Bowl and Michael Tresice, the coaches for Dosso's Demons today, and I'm sure they're very happy with what they've seen. Ball bobbling around. Paker picks it up. Runs it outside the arc. Tries to kick it towards Tresice, but overcooked the kick in the end. Cameron, good stuff, keeps the ball in front of him. Then takes on Orga. Handballs it to Howick, who runs it outside 50. Didn't see a lot of him in this in the first half, Howick, but he's been a bit more lively in this second half. So another behind there for Saints TV. They've kicked quite a few behinds in this second half, but no goals. Here's Baker. Kicks it deep. Ball rolls out of bounds. Platt with the footy. Handballs it off to Howick, who was tackled by Baker. And has he been pinged? He has. Holding the ball. So Baker will line up for his third goal of the day. Handballs it off to McDonald. Is it through? It's not. Kicked one earlier. Kader McDonald couldn't quite add to his tally there. So 2 8 20. Saints TV trailing Dosso's Demons 9 7 61. Here's Dixon. Playing on from the kick out. Taps it on the ground. Sends it deep outside the arc, but turns it over. Baker. Kicks it into the hands of Connor Rogers. Creative player. Good kick to Dresice. Can he add a fourth goal? He's going to try. Has he got it? He hasn't. He's missed. So Saints TV back in possession. Howick to Dixon. Dixon to Batoni outside 50. We've got under three and a half to go. Batoni a couple of bounces outside 50. Now a third bounce. Just assessing his options. Good stuff. Good kick to Howick. So Dylan Howick points towards the goal square and he's missed. So another behind for Saints TV.
Here's Kane McDonald. Taking a bounce. Kicking it towards Rogers outside the arc. He kicks it back in towards Baker. Couldn't run onto it. Here's Trecise. He's already got three. Handballs well to McDonald, who kicks a dinky old kick to Baker and Auger, who was there. None of them marked. Doesn't matter. Trecise comes in, collects and goals. He snagged four today. He's been excellent. Good kick through the sticks. Ten eight sixty eight Dosso's Demons lead Saints TV two nine twenty one. It's a big lead to Dosso's Demons. Here's Cameron. Good kick to Howick who led well. They haven't kicked a goal in this second half yet, Saints TV, and they're not going to kick one here. Howick sprays it out of bounds on the full, well wide of the sticks. So Baker. Two goals next to his name today so far. Bangs it outside the arc. McDonald runs onto it. Handballs it to Rogers. Back to McDonald. Good stuff there. And then he snaps a good one to Auger. Now he's a long way out, but he's been told to have a shot. He's not going to do that, though. He's going to do the team thing and kick it towards Baker. And Baker, an easy snap. There's the icing on the cake. Three goals today by Ethan Baker. So not long left. Howick to Marsh. They have well and truly backed up their 40 plus point win over the ultimate Rezies, the Dossos Demons. Here's Batoni with the last kick of the game. Whistle's blown. Can he at least put Saints TV on the board for the first time in this half? Misses. So it was a comprehensive victory to Dosso's Demons. They win by 50 plus points. A dominant display. With most of that dominance coming in the second half. 2 10 22, Saints TV defeated by Dosso's Demons. 11 8 74. Ethan Baker, he was the standout today. 26 disposals. On the other side of things, George Dixon, he was able to collect 19 disposals. Wasn't enough though. As we take a look at the goal kickers, Matthew Trisice, four goals for Dosso's Demons. Ethan Baker with three. Connor Rogers with two. McDonald Van Gemst with one each. And then singles to Dixon and Cameron. So a dominant display there by Dosso's Demons. Once again, they win. They defeat Saints TV 11 8 74 to 2 10 22. Back to you, Kados. You're the man, Bev. Quick shout out to the Bev Show for the commentary on the first two games of the Dosso's Demons Career Mode series. We really appreciate all your time and effort. I want to give a quick shout out to the St Kilda Footy Club for letting us have a bit of a kick on RSEA Park. I want to give a shout out to Saints TV FC for the contest. Be sure to subscribe to those lads. They have great content on the St Kilda Footy Club and a great podcast as well. So there you have it. The Dossos Demons are undefeated after their first two games of the season. The boys need to win three of the next four to bring home the title. But each opponent will get increasingly more difficult as the season progresses. If you have anyone in mind you want to see us take on in the next game of the Dossos Demons season career mode, comment down below. Comment down below if you have a content creator or a YouTube channel you think would make a great opponent. And once again, guys, we appreciate all of the support. We appreciate everyone tuning in to the series. And we'll catch you next time 
for another big contest for the Dossos Demons.